All right, good morning, everybody. I know I'm saying this again. Good morning, everybody. Welcome, and um, give yourself the opportunity to make sure you have all your stuff in your space and so that you're ready to go with your stuff. So weights, step, bands, and a sand belt. Let's start with the right foot on the ground, and you're just going to kind of roll the right ankle. So I want you to feel the movement. So it's not just, it's not a square. Think about finding the entire circle of the ankle. Roll to the instep, roll to the outside. If you don't have shoes on, that's great because then you can really feel that foot move. You may even notice your knee kind of feeling a little wonky when you do this because your ankle affects your knee, which affects your hip and vice versa. Do a couple more times in that direction and then we'll go in the other direction. And then again, so roll to the heel, roll across the toes, even within your shoes, bend your toes as best you can. So you're going over the top of them and then you're going over the flexed back side of the bottom side of them too. Do a couple more rolls and good. And then go to the other side. So start on the ball of the foot and then roll around. Simple roll movement. You can go slower and find more kind of grooves, edges, or you can go a little faster. Again, you may notice, oh, and my big toes kind of bugging me a little bit. So when we get into things, a lot of times it's now when you slow down is when you start noticing things that are kind of knotted up. And then let's go the other direction. Good, roll that foot, go around to the outside edge, to the back edge. Good, and then pause. And then you're just going to bend, kind of pedaling your feet. So come to the ball of the foot as best you can. And then go drop into the heel. And then you're gonna hinge back and lift your toes up without falling. So hinge back a little bit, see if you can lift those toes up and down. You can lift both of those toes up if you can, depending on your shoes or just your ability yet. Lift those toes up and down. So you're kind of stretching the calves and you're gonna roll out and in. Roll out and in. So yeah, the inner thigh, the outer thigh is moving a little bit here, but you're kind of focusing in the motion inside the ankle. Good. And then just kind of paddle them on the ground, a little bit of marching, bring it up and let's go to a cross crawl. Think of nice and tall through the posture as your foot hits the ground. Notice how it hits the ground if you can. Again, with shoes on, it can be challenging because you're really hitting one spot primarily over and over again. It's hard to hit the other toes. It's hard to notice when you hit more inside or outside because the shoe takes up the weight. Do four more. So think about spreading your toes out inside your shoes or even going shoeless every now and again. Three, two, and let's go a speed skater. Nice and tall, chest is lifted. Let's do speed skater. If you have the room, go speed skater, kind of around in a circle. And then go the other direction. Speed skater, kind of around in a circle. Of course, if you don't have room, my apologies to your poor housing setup. Two more and last one. Good, take your knee up and around. Do four more right here. Three, two, and last one. Good, and just squats. Squat down, stand up. Nice and slow, relatively down and up. Full extension down and up. Add a toe, so extend out of the heels, up, 
and down. Do four and three and two. Now pick one leg up, down, pick one knee up, down, pick one knee up. Do four and three and two. Last one each leg. And then just bring your elbow to your knee. Four, three, two. Bring your heel to your hamstring. Keep your chest up. A little bit quicker. Do four three, two, and last one. Bring your leg in, step out. Bring your leg in, step out. Out, out. Do four more. Three. Last two. Last one here, each side, good, and hinge. So sit those hips back, hands down the shins and back up. Initiate the movement in the hips. Four, three, two, and last one. Hinge down, hands on your knees, round the back and lift and go to a cat cow stretch. So pull the tailbone under, round the back chin towards the sternum, lift the tailbone up, exhale again, pull the tailbone underneath, feel the rib cage open, lift the tailbone up, two more, pull the belly in and lift the tailbone up, one more, round the back, pull the rib cage to the back, head down, and in, good. Take your left hand across the knees and take your right hand up. Watch that you're not shifting your right butt cheek up. Just take your right arm up and then reach back and then back up. Again, reach through as far back as you can to get the underside of that right shoulder and then roll and reach up. Get to open up the chest. Reach through, reach up and through, breathing, reach, and up, two more, last one, and up, good, hand on the knees, and then reach through with your left hand, and come back up, and reach through, if that's bothersome, you can take your hand a little bit higher if you need to, reach, two more, and last one, all the way up and down. Let's come back up, we'll rotate around the torso, move those hips, move that torso, wrap the hands around the body. Body is nice and tall, chest is lifted. You've got four and three and two, and last one. Just bring the hands forward and back. Do five, four, three, two, last one. Take your arms up, swing them up, and then down, and up, and down, and up, and down, and two more up, and down, last time up, and down. Good. All right, let's go with our side step. We've got our side step, no weight, just the body weight. Then we've got the dumbbell and then we've got the band. Remember, you can do this whole thing without the step if you want. Please be aware of that and go where your body needs to go, not where you just think I need you to go to. So again, we're gonna do eight repetitions. We're gonna do two sets of this and then we're gonna do some finishers. So let's go with eight repetitions, 
Step is up, step up onto your step, and down. Remember, this is the lead leg. This is where the weight is. This is not the trailing leg. It's not where the weight is. Four here, down low, five. Press fully through the hip, six, two more, seven, and eight. So I'm really working on extending the hip. Take the leg off, switch to the other side. So instead of working on the drive of the other leg for balance, I want to work the extension of the standing hip. Because remember, it's the glute and the ankle. They're going to work to extend the knee and flex the knee. Down and up. Bend that ankle. Straighten that hip. Do four more. And three. And two. And last one. Down and up. Good. Let's get a dumbbell. Come to the other side of your step. First side, weight is on the steady side, and come up for eight, and seven, six, four here. Work the extension of the hip, flexion into the feet, two more, last one. Other side. Switch weighted sides, and again, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, whoop, and last one. All right, grab the band. Place it on your feet so it's over your arches. Now again, if you don't have a step, you're just stepping a little bit wider, going into a squat, you can pick your knee up and then step back out or just take your foot back in. Or if you're on the step, it's a bare step. So take that left foot up or right, and let's go up for eight. Eight, push down, seven, six, five, four, my band's getting stuck in the little grooves in my step, three, two, and last one. A little safety working out and then take the other foot off and let's go to the second side step up for eight seven six five watch that trailing leg so it doesn't just snap in four three two and last one Come up, good. Step off and off. All right, down for push-ups. You can start on your toes. It's a total of about 24 push-ups. Or you can start on your knees. Get a sip if you need. We'll start in three, two, and go. Elbows come back towards your rib cage. Five, six, seven, and eight. Grab a weight, just to put your hand up on something, or a sand bell, or offset just on the ground. Again, eight here. So you're using, I'm using my right hand more. Five, six, seven, eight, switch to do eight on the other side. I want this to be arm focused, not really core or, or full body necessarily. Eight, 
seven. So I really want to feel that push into the arms. Four, three, two, and done. So if push-ups are your thing and you're great at them, then make sure you're on your knees. If you feel like it's a challenging movement for you, by all means, move them to your, move to your knees instead of doing them on your toes and so that you can really feel a movement of the arms more specifically than just kind of suffering through, I can't bend very low. So give yourself the opportunity to do it different with a different mindset, not just a push-up mindset, but what am you're trying to achieve from that arm. All right, let's do push-ups. Band above your elbows and then lower as far down as you can and come back up. That band is really there to assist you on the way up. Lower down and up. Four, three, two, and done. So the band on that, the idea on the band on your elbows is that you can get lower, your chest to the ground, so you get more of this expansion, this opening, and then the band, in a sense, helps to shoot you back up. All right, glute bridges. Of the brothers, maybe he's my favorite. I was kind of a Lloyd Bridges guy, girl, you know, in the 70s. You know, what was it, Seawolf in the 60s? And then Bo tried to make a run for it. And then really it's Jeff. But 2000s are all about the glute bridges. It's in it's it's the lesser known of the bridges. All right, let's go glute bridge. Make sure your feet press down if you've got a light step. And then lift up and down. Eight, seven, six, five, four ribs in. Three, so you're using those glutes. Two, and last one. Grab a weight. And you're gonna do alternating. So heels are gonna be down. Weight is up. Hips are up. Lift your right knee and left knee. Right knee and left knee. So whether you have your sand bell or your weight, Keep those arms, let the knee touch the edge of the weight or the sand bell. Do four and three. Last two and last one. Good, lower down, grab your band, Woo, way over here, put it on your feet. So it's on your arches. Hips are up again. You're bringing your right knee up. Only three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Other leg, eight, seven. Keep those hips up, arms down. Five, four, three, two last one here and down drop your hips and roll to one side gently come on up good so we've got tall kneeling half kneeling and standing grab your weight mat can be on the ground for cushion remember the idea is to move this away from the body slowly like a vertical plank. Start in three, two, and go. Reach out and back in. Now, the further away you go from center, the more challenging it is on your back side. So do less. Halfway out is fine. Three quarters of the way out or fully. Four, three, two and last one good half kneeling hold the ends again of the bell or the um, sand bell or dumbbell start at your lower hip 
and then let's come up eight seven nose to the inside of the arm six five four three two and last one other side toe can be curled behind you or flat start low work high eight seven six five four three two and last one good come on up grab your weight or no weight is fine as well standing on one leg this time we're going to do a figure eight on one leg. Watch that you don't harden the glute. Keep that leg slightly bent as it's comfortable. And you're in a row. Two. Three. Four. Look forward. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Good. And then the other leg, we're gonna reach out and in, out and in for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Keep that chest up, two, and last one. Good job, guys. All right, so we're gonna do that finisher. Remember, it's quick squats. You can do around the world with your sand bell or halos with your arms or your sand bell or dumbbell and then soccer taps or single leg hops. So again, just a single leg hop, eight, 10 or more if you want. We're going for two minutes. We're gonna start in three, start with quick squats. Two and go. Three four, five, six, I'm gonna go 10, nine and 10. Halos, I'm gonna go five by five. Five, four, three, two, and then go the other direction. Five, four, three, two, and done. Soccer hops, tap, tap, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And 10 squats again, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. I'm gonna do around the world, five by five, three, four, five, Switch sides, five, four, three, two, last one, and then single leg hops this time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other leg, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Let's do it again. Quick squats. We got 30 seconds. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halos. Two, three, four, and then the other direction. Two, three, four, and five soccer hops we're actually done if you want to be done three four five six seven eight nine and ten two minutes nicely done grab a sip and let's do one more round All right, side step up, grab that weight. 
Move my other weights out of the way. Safety first. It's going three, two, and step up. Eight, seven, six, get low. Five, work the standing leg. Four, three, two, and switch sides. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and down. Good, grab a weight. Now put it on your free side. Starting together or start when you're ready. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And again, eight, start when you're ready, or right now, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one, down. We're gonna move on to push-ups. Pick two. I'm gonna do banded push-ups first, and then offset push-ups. You can do regular push-ups and banded push-ups, whichever you'd like to do. So again, I'm gonna do banded push-ups first. You can do regular push-ups or offset. We're going in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. I'm gonna do offset. Hand on a weight, other hand back, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, other side, eight again. If you're doing banded or regular push-ups, it was just eight by eight, four, three, two, and last one. Good, coming in two glute bridges. Feet are on the top, butt close to the bridge. Grab your weight, put it in your hip line, hands over your chest as an option. So this is all a modification or an alternative. Lift up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, hold up, bring your right knee up and your left knee up. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Whoop, I'm almost moving to lose my bench. And down. Put the weight down. Last one here is the tall kneeling. We're going to actually do half kneeling, both sides, and then we'll finish with a standing balance. Grab your weight. So we're gonna do half kneeling. Leg is up, body is tall, chest is lifted. Start at the bottom, work up, pull down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Get a little swing in there. Other side, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, up and down. All right, standing up, 
I'm going to use my sand belt. On the first leg, we're going to do chest press out. Second leg, we're going to do figure eights. So starting on that first leg, body's nice and tall, chest is lifted, and press out. Two, three, four, four more, four, three, two, and last one. Other side, standing tall, reach out for eight, so, oh, sorry, figure eight. Two, <laughs> three, four, five, six. Try not to move the torso, just move the arms. Seven and eight. Nice job, guys. All right, we've got two minutes of those quick squats, halos or around the world, soccer hops or single leg hops. Starting in three, two, quick squats and go. Two, three, four, five, six, I'm going 10, nine and 10. We're gonna do halos with a sand bell. Two, three, four, five, Five, four, three, two, last one. Just doing one set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Making it roll. Ten. All right, quick squats. Ten, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and last one halos going the other direction so i went clockwise counterclockwise two three four five five four two and last one single leg hops for me one two three four five six, seven, eight, nine, ten, other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go right into quick squats. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halos or around the world. Let's go five by five. Four, five, five, unwind it. Four, three, two, and last one. Soccer hops for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo! Done. Two minutes and 12 seconds. But who's counting? You are, I'm sure. <laughs> Anyways, let's cool it down and rotate. Just let those arms swing. Eyes can stay focused generally forward or move in opposition. Go up if you want, go down. Look right, look left. Couple more and center back up again. Great work today, guys. Hands forward, hands back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Cross crawls. Close your mouth if you can. Put that tongue against the roof of your mouth. Three. Two, last one. Hinges, hinge forward, roll up, roll those shoulders back. Hinge and roll and hinge and roll. Now in the 80s when we did this, it looked much more 
I'll say suggestive. Now it just looks awkward because I'm older probably. And last one. <laughs> and fold, hold, lift that tailbone, lift the chest. Good, take your left hand across your knee, just swing your right arm over and hold. Take that right arm through, look first, then reach. And then take that right arm back up, and then back down. Take the left arm up, reach up, and then reach through. And again, reach up, and then right back down. Hold for just a second, transition to your hands, straighten your elbows, walk yourself up, standing nice and tall, and let's just roll the shoulders big. And do four, three, two, and last one. Good. Have a great day, guys. I'll see some of you later tonight. Connect with me if you need to more information about the Ring in the New You Challenge, and I will see you guys 